Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Scott, and it's that time again. We've got another awesome community spotlight covering the November paint challenge that we extended over on the community Discord. A lot of cool paint jobs this time around, so let's go ahead and dive into this spotlight. The theme for the November paint challenge was tanks, in honor of Thanksgiving. Now, naturally, I painted up my own model to complete this challenge. This is a Sherman from Bolt Action. I painted it with a sort of urban camo, non-historic color scheme. I wanted to get creative with it. But let's go ahead and take a look at what everybody else painted. Our first entry this month was by Bataboy, and he's done an awesome job painting this German King Tiger tank from Bolt Action. I really love the way he's done the weathering on this tank. You can see there's grime dripping down the side of the tank, as well as mud and dirt and gunk that has been kicked up by the treads. It's caked along the bottom and sides of the tank. Our second entry was submitted by Alcovial. He's done an amazing job painting this basilisk from the Imperial Guard Army in Warhammer 40k. I love everything about the way this is painted. I especially love the winter camo. You don't see that very often on tanks in most war games. People usually just paint them green, so I really am happy to see a kind of unique and awesome looking paint scheme. Our third entry was submitted by Crest, and he's working on this knight for his Warhammer 40k army. He didn't quite get it done in time for the challenge, but I told him to go ahead and submit it anyway. I really love the weathering that's seen on this knight. It's fun to see projects like this progress from start to finish. I really look forward to seeing it when it's all done and weathered up and gross looking. Our next entry was submitted by Arrest, and this is perhaps one of the tankiest models in Conquest. This is a Tauntor. Now this model has a ton of detail on it, so just finishing one of these is a great achievement. But he's done a really good job with all the detail work. I love all the little dinosaurs that are hanging off the side of the bigger one, as well as the Howda with all the individual Wadroon models on the top. It's turned out amazing, kind of makes me want to go and finish my own. Our fifth entry was submitted by Edgen Bronco, and he's done a really great job painting this saber tank from Star Wars Legion, and he's done it up in the colors of the 501st Legion. That's perhaps one of my favorite clone legions in Star Wars. And I've seen this model in person, and he did a really great job. There's a lot of crisp detail, especially with the lines for the different blue patterns on the model, but there's also a decent amount of weathering on the model, just enough that it's not brand new, but it doesn't look gross and dirty either. Our final entry was submitted by Tsar Jeefly. He's done a really amazing job painting this Soviet ISU-152 tank from Bolt Action. I really love the snow effects on this model. He's done a really great job of placing the snow texture paint in spots that look believable, and around the treads in particular, it looks like this thing has been trudging around through the snow, and the camo is really well done. There's also some really well applied transfers that add a lot of extra detail to this model. That pretty much wraps up our community spotlight this month. Thank you guys so much for entering your paintwork into this challenge. I always love seeing what you paint. During the month of December, we're not going to do a paint challenge just because I'm going on vacation at the end of the month and the timing just isn't going to work out for me to be able to do a, another community spotlight video for January. Now we will do a paint challenge in January. I'll announce that over on my Discord server. If you want to join that server, the link is in the description of this video. I'd like to give a special shout out to my channel members that make videos videos like this possible. If you'd like to become a channel member, hit the join button below this video. As always, have an amazing day, and we'll catch you in the next one.